Hey everyone, this is Kingpin PKR316. I got some new books that I read in the mail, so I thought I'd um, show them off and give my thoughts on it. This is Batman number 48. This continues the Mr. Bloom story. I didn't like last issue, and I really didn't like this issue that much either. Hopefully, um, well, this has been out for a few weeks now, so I'm sure people know, but uh, I believe in the next issue that Bruce Wayne becomes Batman again. So that should um, that should be pretty cool. And we also found out news that uh, that Scott Snyder, even though he's going to stop doing Batman, he's going to be doing Detective Comics. So that should be a, a different but pretty cool story that he's. So I'm looking forward to him taking over that book, even though he's leaving Batman. This should be pretty cool. To, uh, to have him on Detective Comics to kind of have his take on it. I know before Volume 1 ended, he did a bunch of issues from like 871, I think, the Black Mirror story. And I'm not sure if he went all the way to, to, um, to 914 to end the story, but... It, uh, I'm looking forward to it just the same. But anyway, Batman 48, I, I wasn't into very much. I, I didn't think it was a... Uh, I don't know, I couldn't get into it. Um, this is... I'm almost done reading this because I just got part six. This is Batman, the Arkham Knight, Genesis. This is part one. I thought this was a good story. This would be also... Uh, a good book. I'm sure all the Batman fans picked this up from the beginning, but to get it in trade would be a, a good run. I, I think you'll enjoy it. This is issue two. Issue three. That's a cool cover. This is issue four. There's issue five. And which I didn't read yet, but I like the first five, so I'm sure I'll like this. That's issue number six. Very cool covers. Very good story by Peter J. Tomasi. So let's see this is Batman Europa number three. This is the story with Joker and Batman and they both have the infection and they have to help each other to get out of it. Or so they both don't die. Green Arrow 48. Definitely not as good as the Lemire run that they just made the deluxe edition out of, which is highly recommended if you miss this in singles. You could pick up a nice deluxe edition of Green Arrow. Um, this is Harley Quinn and Power Girl number four. I thought this was kind of, I was a little disappointed in this. I thought this could have been better. This is number five. So we'll take those away. A Force number one. Now I got a Marvel Unlimited subscription. I think I'm going to read this, but I'm going to read it when they come out as in Marvel Unlimited. I like the story, but there's just too many books to get. Now this is all new, all different Avengers, number three. Very cool cover where they're all attacking Nova. Um, it's a fun book. It's a different team. I like it a lot. If you read the back of the book where people write in, there's somebody said that they were upset. I think it was an issue number four. The yeah. Thorin. Sam Wilson, Captain America, Kiss. 
Actually, Thor kisses Sam Wilson. But anyway, um, somebody wrote in the book that they don't know how you could go from the sci-fi, very serious, New Avengers, Illuminati, Hickman-type feel to the books, and then have, like, a light-hearted superhero book, which I, I really, I'm enjoying the book. I think it's a good story. You know, they're, they're in fact, in three was when they first decided to become a team, and four is their first battle as a team, so... They take on a guy. They take on a super uh, a super villain named Cyclone on the New Jersey boardwalk. So it was a fun story. This is all new Wolverine number four, guest starring Doctor Strange. All new X Men number three. Still enjoying that title. Invincible Iron Man number five. Good book. Secret Wars number nine. Also had a nice ending to it. Um, it's also a way for them, for Marvel to phase Fantastic Four and give you a reason to why they're not around anymore. This is Totally Awesome Hulk number two. Very funny. Good book. I'm not sure if I show this or not. This is Uncanny Inhumans, number one. And this is Uncanny X-Men. Which Colin, Colin Bunn said is kind of like... The Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Since it's like a bad um, X-Men team. With the villains in it, but uh, but I liked it a lot. I thought it was a good book. Now some back issues I got. This is Batman 570. This is the second appearance of Harley Quinn in the DC continuity. Iron Man 304. The first Hulkbuster suit. This also has the three trading cards on the one stock in it that uh that came with it they it wasn't punched out of there this I was very excited to get first appearance of Beta Ray Bill second appearance of Beta Ray Bill I'll take those off there that's 338 339, the Beta Race Bill story continues. Second appearance of Harry Osborn as the Green Goblin, I think. Maybe the first appearance is him as the Green Goblin. Amazing Spider Man 137. Awesome Silver Age 12 Cent X Man book, number 48. X-Men number 61 with Sauron, not the first appearance. But still a, an oldie. Uncanny X-Men number 119. Gorgeous, gorgeous books. I was very happy to pick these up, add these to my collection. This was probably out of all the those X-Men books I just showed. This one is probably in the worst shape, and that's 137, the special double-sized uh, X-Men. So, well, those are my books for the week. Um, I hope everybody had a nice weekend. I hope everybody got a lot of books they like to read. Till next time, this is Kingpin PKR 316. Have a great night.